guys so in the previous video you had been introduced to the new um, data structure of directed graph that is a variant of the graph data structure called the directed graph where the direction of edges matter so let us get uh, into our network x the package for graphs and let us see what are the support that it provides to deal with directed graph data structure so let's get uh, into the python syntax and other intricacies let's get started so as the first step the package that supports the graph data structure operations is network x that we'll be importing we'll do that import network x network x as nx so this is just a short name given that network x is a lengthier name so i'm using a shorter name nx so i have imported it so how did you create a undirected graph if you want to create a new undirected graph you would say let me say undirected graph right so let me say u is nothing but you created nx dot graph this would create a undirected graph right this was used to create a undirected graph in case you want to create a directed graph how would we do that let's see let me say g is my graph i'll create it nx dot digraph is the command see observe that d is in caps and g is in caps digraph is another terminology we use to say directed graph directed graph digraph is a sort of acronym you can consider it as digraph d and g has to be in caps please observe this digraph so a digraph a directed graph object has been created so if you would want to know what are the nodes present in the graph that's then by let us see g dot nodes nodes see it's empty node view is a abstract data type it is using but we are comfortable with the list representation so uh, given that it is using a different representation in python 2 if you are following the output of g dot nodes will be a list data type but in python 3 they have a different representation so we need to convert this into list representation so that it is easier for our programming purposes so currently it is empty there are no nodes so let us add a few nodes something like this g dot add nodes from add nodes from you have a thing so you need to pass a list as a parameter so a list where you enter the node ids say for example a b c d whatever you want you need to give that as a list let me use numbers itself for uh, the nodes i i say i want to create some three nodes 0 1 and 2 so i can say 0 1 and 2 what if i want to do for 100 nodes 1000 nodes if i want to increase is it possible for me to manually uh, enter all the numbers no right so in that case what we can do is we can use a for loop here and we can do it so to demonstrate that even for this uh, case as well i'll use a for loop and demonstrate for i in range how many nodes you wanted you just need to give that let me say i want some five nodes so I have given 5 so this is there so I want to add node number i for i in range 5 that is now you iterate over the number line till you uh, reach 5 so from 0 it starts 0 1 2 3 4 it will stop so all those whatever is the values that i has been taking as I had said 0 1 2 3 4 you append that to the list that is what this particular line means this is a one line way by which you can add a collection of nodes if you want to name them in the numbered fashion only so you can add it this way so please observe this g dot add nodes from you need to pass a list and given that i want to number it sequentially i can use a for loop and uh, get it done uh, instead of enumerating those numbers manually this is how you have added the nodes now let me see what are the nodes now see as I have said 0 1 2 3 4 has been added so as I have said this representation the tuple sort of representation is not very friendly for us a list is friendly for us we can iterate over the list easily so we will convert it into a list list of g dot notes see yes see it has been converted into a list format 
0, 1, 2, 3, 4 has been converted into a list format. So what are the edges present in the graph? G dot edges. You would see out edge view it says. So in an undirected graph you can just say edges. But in a directed graph if you just say edges it by default is taking out edge that is the outgoing edges. So we need to mention in edges and out edges. G dot out edges. There are no outgoing edges and g dot in edges for incoming edges. There are no incoming edges. And as the, this is a different data type, we want it to be in a list format. So we will be typecasting it into list. But given that currently we don't have any edges, so let us add a few edges and then we'll do it. So let me say g dot add edge. You need to give the source and the target. Source is the starting point of your edge and target is the end point of your edge. So if I say 1, 2 and edge that is a directed edge from node 1 to node 2 will be created, will be added into the network. So now if I see g dot edges, so 1, 2 is the only edge I have. So if I say in edges, it's also 1, 2. It's in case of out edges, it's 1, 2. So basically it doesn't um, matter if you just say edges where this in edges and out edges terminology matters is if you give a particular node and say what are the incoming edges to this node or what are the outgoing edges from this node in that case uh, this thing actually matters so let me say g dot out edges of let me say one let me say this see one comma two whereas if i give g dot in edges of 1 it's empty because there is no incoming edge to node 1 currently so this is how this works so let me add few more edges and let us see add edge from 0 comma 3 let us say let us say 2 comma 3 let us say let this be a bidirectional edge 3 comma 2 as well let us add 3 comma 4 4 comma 1 Please note that the order matters. You are giving the source, the starting point as the first element and the target or the end point as the second element. This order matters. Please note this. As like in uh, undirected graph, you cannot give in any order. Please note 4 comma 1 doesn't mean that 1 comma 4 is also present. That is, if there is an edge from four, node 4 to node 1, node 1 to node 4 there is an edge. That doesn't, you cannot guarantee that there will be an edge. So this is uh, the speciality of a directed graph as you could see. So now if I say as I have said list we will convert into list given that it's easier for us g dot out edges of any node. Say for example let me say node 2. So this is an outgoing edge. Let me say node 3. These are the outgoing edges. So from node 3 there are two outgoing edges. One towards node 2 and one towards node 4. There are two outgoing edges. So you have a list of tuples and edge is denoted by a tuple list of tuples this is how you have the output of this particular function out edges please note this this will be used in our programming screencast this functionality out edges we will be using it also if you want to find the in incoming edges you can say in edges so these are the incoming edges from 0 you have an incoming edge towards 3 and from 2 you have an incoming edge towards 3. These are the incoming edges. So this is how you can see the outgoing edges and incoming edges. We convert it into list format because it is easier for us. Alright guys. So we have seen uh, some prerequisites. Some, some functionalities that are provided in NetworkX package to work with directed graphs. And what is so important about directed graphs that you have to again and again keep in mind is the edges are directed. An edge from node A to node B doesn't mean that you have path from node B to node A as well. That is a direct edge from node B to node A as well exists. This is not guaranteed. That is if there is an edge from node A to node B, there is no guarantee that you will have an edge from node B to node A. This is the key point of directed graphs. Please do keep this in mind. And we will see about the algorithm of points distribution method. How do we do that and uh, what is the procedure to be followed. We will see that in the upcoming parts.